The Julietta is Alpha's replacement for the nine-year-old 147. It sits on a brand new platform rather than sharing an existing Fiat car, starts from a reasonable £17,000 and according to people who know these things, Euro NCAP, it is the safest car in its class. I think it looks good with some alpha touches that help lift it from the run-of-the-mill hatchbacks. There's the pert nose, trademark grille, 17-inch alloys, hidden rear door handles and funky rear lights. But style must be subjective, otherwise people would never own Siamese pussycats or chihuahua dogs. And some won't like the Giulietta's design as much as I do. But the car is impressive in other areas, such as fuel economy. Now this particular model is fitted with one of the Fiat Group's new multi-air engines which takes air into the combustion chamber electronically and so saves fuel whilst increasing power. It's a 1.4 litre turbocharged unit with a very healthy 170 brake horsepower, 184 pound foot of torque and yet it still returns almost 49 miles to the gallon. And that's a serious selling point because most rivals would need to come equipped with a bigger diesel engine to achieve such good figures. They make this Giulietta as powerful and as frugal as a 2-litre Volkswagen Golf GTD. It's quicker too, getting to 62 miles an hour in 7.8 seconds. And it never seems to run out of steam despite the long gears throughout the six-speed box. The big bulbous lever helps give it a solid feel, but it's made of plastic and I think metal would have been a nicer touch. Switch the car's setup into dynamic mode and the steering and the throttle are at their sharpest, but the steering isn't sharp enough when you go to push on through the corners, which is a massive shame because it lets down an otherwise decent handling front wheel drive chassis. And because of that, it's not as composed or as engaging to drive as this car's arch rival, the Volkswagen Golf. The Giulietta's new platform, though, is still the best of Alpha's current crop. There's a good amount of tyre grip, body roll is kept to a minimum, and the ride has just the right mix of comfort and sportiness. But switch back to the normal mode and things become softer still. The boot is of a useful shape, but it's slightly smaller than that in a Ford Focus, and the space in the rear isn't quite as good as the best either, but there is a handsomely tailored cabin for everyone to enjoy. The equipment list includes air conditioning, stop-start, electric rear windows and six airbags across the range. In this Veloce trim you also get cruise control and leather, and it's all yours for just under £21,000. There's an awful lot going for the Giulietta. It scores highly on looks, safety, practicality, fuel economy and performance. It's just right for an aspirational young family. Unfortunately though, that sloppy steering means it doesn't fulfil its potential of being a truly great driver's car.